Thank you so much for being here today. I don't know what I would have done without you. No, it's, it's like I said, Addie was just trying to hide from Todd's lawyer. She's fine. No, it... You were the only one who could read her, Patrick. Well, she's a fine lady. I'll do anything to help her. Thank you. I really messed up today, didn't I? Try not to worry about it. Yelling, screaming, throwing things, and I mean, what, what's the judge going to think? Maybe I'll be able to turn things around when I get to tell my side of the story. You know, it's really going to help you testifying for me. Do what I can. I know you're a fine mother, and I know how much you love Star. said about Blair a dozen times. You love Blair, Blair loves you. Together, you're much stronger and better than you are alone. And I think I'm about to give up on you. I really am. What you did today in this courtroom was so horrible. I can't stand it. Bringing Blair's mother here using her like that lying you flat out lied on the witness stand you said you didn't kidnap star i didn't kidnap anybody how can you kidnap your own child i just took her for a weekend in the country do you know what hurts todd seeing someone that you care about someone who has such enormous potential and who has made such great strides seeing him fall back so far. Thank God, I thought maybe you had changed your mind. How about what? Testifying? I told you I'd be here. Do whatever you need. Thanks. Just that uh, I, I knew it was going to be hard, but I had, didn't expect this. Yeah. The whole idea of a custody battle is grim. But when you're facing someone as heartless as Todd... I mean, but can he, can he hate me that much? To use my mother the way that he did it? I mean, you saw the way his lawyer went after her. God, I just... I, I lost it. I couldn't help it in front of the judge. Well, that's exactly what he wanted. He wanted to show that you can't take care of yourself, much less a child. Patrick, that's why it's very important for you to show the judge what I'm really like. Right. But you've got to stay in control, okay? Today is your time to set the record straight. Come on, let's go inside. Okay. Margaret. I, uh, told you you didn't have to be here today. Vicky. Oh, I'm surprised you're here. You were so upset at me yesterday for making Blair's mother look like she was Looney Tunes. You here to tell me off again? Maybe. You don't have to say it. Do you think I'm the scum of the earth? Don't put words in my mouth. No, actually, I think... I think you're a coward. Because you could have done this the decent way. But that means you would have had to fight to hold on to it. So you took the coward's way out, and you just gave up. And that makes me furious. Then why are you here? Because there's an innocent little life at stake. Your daughter. I'm scared to death for her, Todd. Do you have any idea what it's going to be like for her later on when she's older? When she realizes how desperately, badly you hurt her mother by dragging her through this public nightmare? I'm not the best. Got off the first shot. Well, you think Blair's not going to try and get me back? She's already got her tar and feathers all ready. Why don't you go inside? I'll be right there. Okay. Thanks. 
I saw you had to work today. I got someone to cover my shift. So little Star was born prematurely? Yes. But she's a fighter, and so is her mother. I think that's when I realized just how much this baby meant to Blair. I think it was all her love and hope that kept the baby alive. And that love and that hope for her child, have they ever faltered? Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's only gotten stronger. Blair's been through some terrible times. But never once has she broken because of the love she has for that baby. Thank you, Mrs. Carpenter. That'll be all. Mr. Freeman? Mrs. Carpenter, have you ever worked for Todd Manning in your capacity as a reporter? Yes. And were you finally fired by Mr. Manning? Yes. Yes, I'm very grateful for that. Saved me the trouble of resigning. Oh, so you weren't happy? I wasn't happy with the direction that Mr. Manning was taking the son. And, and that direction would be towards emphasizing certain questionable behavior like this? That is a perfect example. You see, the sun used to bring us the news when my family owned it. Now it just settles for rumor and innuendo. Some of it involving you. That way, Doc gets to sell a few papers and he gets at Blair by hurting her family and friends. Oh, right. I almost forgot. You're Mrs. Manning's cousin, right? Yes, I am. So you have more than reason enough to wish my client ill. He is not one of my favorite people, no. Hmm. So isn't it possible, then, that Mrs. Manning isn't the saint you've pictured her? That she only seems that way to you compared to her husband, whom you despise? Objection, argumentative, at the very least, sustained. No further questions, Your Honor. You may step down, Mrs. Carpenter. Thank you. I'm sorry, Cassie. For what? They never laid a glove on me. Ms. Richardson, are you ready to call your next witness? I am, Your Honor. I'd like to call Mr. Patrick Thornhart. <laughs> Did Mrs. Manning blame you for her suffering? How could she not? Her husband was gone. He gave his life for mine, or so we thought. And Mrs. Manning had nothing but her grief and a child on the way that would never know her father, thanks to me. How did you get past that? We started working together on a play. And uh, then, months after Mr. Manning supposedly died, something clicked. <sighs> We were alone, looking for comfort. But we never lied to each other. We never even tried to. I was still very much in love with someone else, and Blair, for reasons I cannot fathom, was still in love with Todd. We had an affair. But it was over almost before it began. And when it was over, you still remained friends? Yeah. And I'm grateful for that, because I, I do enjoy her company. And to see the way she loves her child, I'm, I'm just um, happy to be around that. Mrs. Manning seemed a competent parent. More than that, I'd say. She loves her child more than her own life. And when Star was kidnapped, did Mrs. Manning fall apart? <sighs> the idea of how frightened Star must be was devastating, of course, but Blair was strong. She knew she had to be if she wanted to get her child back. So despite the joy Star brought her, Blair didn't want the baby she's now carrying, the one you and she conceived. It seemed to be too much for her. She and Todd had just separated, and she was feeling completely alone. And you convinced her she wasn't? I told her that we'd created a new life together, and I would help her in any way that I could every step of the way. So you'd always be a strong, responsible presence in her life? I would try my best. Blair will always have a friend in me, and our child will always have a father. Thank you, Mr. Thornhart. No further questions.